This is my Legends Ultimate Arcade, and it is awesome. Except for when the controls don't work. They work now, but I had a problem recently where I couldn't get these to function at all. So I'm going to walk you through the steps I took to get that fixed and deal with the customer service department of uh, At Games. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here, so let's go back in time and revisit the actual problem. <laughs> my machine and this thing isn't working. So I hit power and that obviously works and it's I think that's on the same board. So that lights up and the thing turns on. Since I've owned it, sometimes it doesn't work right away. I like to give it a few seconds, but typically I'll move that and this would move over to the games or whatever, but nothing, nothing works. I don't know what's supposed to work because only this is typically what works. I did pull this out last night and look at all the connections and they seem fine. Um, I do have a light here which is just switches to the HDMI or whatever and that seems to work. Um, I've tried it without my uh, CoinOps X drive rebooting. I've done something where you hold this for 20 seconds that I read online, that does nothing. I've tried the reset function there, that does nothing. Um, but still, no matter what I do, it just doesn't seem to respond to anything. So, I think it's dead. I decided to contact customer support and basically tell them what I just told you that the control board seems to be dead. They replied rather quickly and they asked me to send a, a photo of my receipt, uh, the, the black screen or sticker on the back of the unit showing the date it was made, uh, as well as my address and such. They also told me to, to log on to the device and show me my UUID, but the control board's dead, so that was basically impossible. The next troubleshooting tip they sent me was to upgrade the control deck firmware. So they basically emailed me a website and had me download some files, put it on a USB drive, and plug it in, and run a sequence of controls, etc., etc. But it didn't work for me. I got an error message on the on the ALU that said that the update wired control module could not be found. And so, I mean, you can't update what you can't find, right? Basically, At Games decided that my control board was dead. I was out of warranty, so they told me I had to buy a new one. It was 15 bucks. They said it was 20, but I found a code on Rakuten for five. And I got shipping for 10 so it was $25. Um, so basically, I just sat back and did what any 44-year-old man does. Cracked a beer and let my daughter paint my toenails. going to show you how to install it. And the first thing I'm doing here is uh, removing this top board. That screw, that screw. That screw, that screw. If you have them, you then need to remove the pinball attachment. That's right there. Uh, and then another screw right there. So that's on both sides. So I already loosened these. And then there's this guy here. So a piece of cake. Just kind of setting all my stuff over here so I can mix the screws up, you know, the usual. Then you just kind of remove the control board. It's going to be interesting with uh, one hand. I pop off the power and the USB and this ribbon connector. Pausing. All right, so pop that ribbon off there. So now you have your control board. And you want to turn it upside down because there's eight or 10 screws on the bottom of it. I'm actually gonna bring it over to the couch because it's softer. So yeah, each of these holes represents a screw. So my, my drill screwdriver is not gonna reach. So I'm gonna get a longer manual screwdriver and do it that way. All right, I've got the eight screws loosened here, so this should come off. Never looked in here before, so I have no idea what to expect. This could be interesting, especially one-handed. So I actually got all the screws loosened properly. Hmm. Seems to be. Oh, there's a control box up here. Looks like I gotta finagle this a bit. So it looks like I'm connected on both corners, but this is the guy I'm going to replace right here. So let's see if I can figure out how to do that. It looks to me like it should be as simple as that screw, that screw, and unplugging these connectors. Um, 
So I'm gonna do that and then unpause so I can use both hands. All right, so it looks like I actually need to remove this and this as well to get the entire board off. So I was running into some problems there, so I'm gonna do that. All right, so I moved all the connectors. The problem is when I pulled some of them, the physical connector actually removed from the board as well. It seemed to be like glued onto there. So I'm gonna have to get this out of there. Uh, and then this board was attached to the case, or the board is attached to this thing with this screw and that screw. So I'm gonna undo those and pop this out and I'm gonna fix, fix these connectors. All right, so I took this screw and this screw out and the board, old board just slides out. So that thing's a piece of junk. Here's my new board. I suppose we just slide it in there. Seems to line up. Put these screws back in and we'll just connect everything. So just an FYI, these are kind of bears. It looks like, I don't know, if the manufacturer like glued these together, I was able to get one to pry off and it was like totally glued to the connector. So I'm trying to do that to the other two that I couldn't get off. Okay, all the screws are back in. Um, these were actually kind of a pain in the ass. So unless you're a Connie, small hands, uh, you're gonna want to have a magnetized screwdriver to, to hold the screw in place while you get it down there because it's just really a tight squeeze to, to get lined up down there. But I am just gonna go through and uh, put all these connectors back on. Hopefully I know which ones go where. That should be my little project here. I'm gonna do that without the camera. All right, so everything looks back in shape here. Uh, this was very fragile, so you wanna put these in gently. Otherwise, this really wants to pry from pry itself from the board. Uh, but all those went in otherwise pretty smoothly. So I'm gonna put the camera down, just do everything in reverse. I'm gonna flip this back in, put the screws in the control board, and reconnect the control board to the machine. All right, everything's put back together. And look what we got going here. Oh yeah, all good. So hopefully this helps somebody.